yesterday you know what I'm saying at the end of the day you know in regards to my culture they want us to have something you know what I'm saying you know and I, I, my mindset has changed as far as man now I mean I still want to do us but the more they come on the streets the more money we all go you know what I'm saying that's really how, I, how I'm trying to look at it you know what I'm saying but my thing as long as we just the top dogs that's all I care about is to be the top dogs, I need everybody to buy in. I just want to be real clear before we have a lot of fun. I don't have no tolerance for anybody that ain't for the buy in. We, you never know how big this could be. You know what I'm saying? And already, I don't mean no shade, I don't mean no disrespect about nothing you had going on. But already by being affiliated with this, I'm sure lives will change. You've got more recognition. You've got more recognition. Everybody and their mama hit me up about, you know, damn, who did really these? I'll never take credit. All I'm saying, man, certain things you pay for, you don't pay for with money. You pay for it by just going through the trenches. We ain't been open for three months. Have y'all seen what we've done in three months? Y'all hear about what I'm about to do for like New Year's? You know, I got a new promotion called about to start up. It's called Echelon. It's cause man, anything I do, I want like the best. Yes, sir. way you can't be able to change the whole game up. You know what I'm saying? He was like, everybody business minds have shifted to a new way of doing business with the lounges and, and and everything, how they move. He was like, you made more people start wanting to team up now. Everything, because you can't. True story, you came in like out of Iverson and they stopped the crossover because he was gonna be too big. I'm like, well, I know that. that you ain't telling me Yeah, I was 
And you was like, you was looking for uh, Willie B's down here? No, I had no idea. That was news to me. That's, that's, that's a big thing. We supposed to be with the real today. I had no idea. Yeah. I was like, yeah, okay. What? <laughs> me just was like. Yeah, once I decide I'm going to move here in April, <clears throat> like, might as well. I assume you would be looking at Esteban. Mm -hmm. You know, just, honestly, just, just real talk, like, like, Maria, so much shit you've accomplished, like, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, college and all that shit. Like, I ain't never did none of that shit. Like, so for me, like, I feel like moving to Miami, to me, would be, like, me going to get my master's. You know what I'm saying, as far as just, just, just challenge yourself, see if you can read in a whole other area. You don't know nobody. Just see what you can do, you know?
Charger's Chops, Nolan and Nashville. Christopher Jones, C H R I S T O P H E R Jones, J O N E S. And your official title Owner of Willie Beans. Owner. Owner. Anybody else have it? Memphis. Memphis. 
But y'all pulling in a lot of the New Orleans flavors. Yes. Like, talk to me about it a little bit. Like, where'd you come up with the concept for this menu and, and kind of this whole flavor that you guys got going on? Yes, well, I've been cooking for a while. And to me, New Orleans is like the mecca of food. So I spent some years back when Hurricane Katrina hit with, a New Orleans, with some of my New Orleans family. And from there, I learned a lot. They came to Memphis when Katrina hit and lived with us for a while. We learned a lot. And, and from there, I just learned a lot of the seasons, and I mixed it with my Memphis flavor. So as I was going to New Orleans, I just felt like it was kind of like Memphis. So I want to do everything I can to bring New Orleans to Memphis. New Orleans and Nashville. Oh, it's bad. 